Chisinau, Moldova. We are going to Ukraine. We've just been told that it could well be a minivan. I'm just so anxious. Please, please, please be a boss. Please be a boss. Please be a boss. Oh my God, I think it's just here. Oh my God. Heaven. On what was not the best bus journey, they wouldn't accept the vaccine um, piece of paper. Tired. Good afternoon from Chisinau, Moldova. We are back after spending a couple of days in the breakaway region, country, whatever you think of it, of trans. Nistria, we have literally been so busy the last couple of days. We haven't filmed much at all. Um, we've been sorting out our routes, our plans, where we're going next, what we're doing next, where should we go, what should we do, get a really bad haircut. Look, what have they done here? I'm not sure on this. I normally get it like shaped here, but look, they've taken too much away. I don't know. It's not too bad, I suppose. I can get, I don't know. What do you think? I can get away with it. But yeah, we're going Ukraine. We're we going Ukraine. We are going to Ukraine. We have got the bus booked for this evening. It's like a 10 hour bus. Uh, we'll show you more later when we get that bus. Oh, I can't be dealing with these 10 hour buses, but never mind. But we've planned our route. I found something really cool. And then from Ukraine, we're hoping to get a ferry, a cargo ship from Ukraine to Georgia. A lot of exciting stuff coming, which is why we needed to chill and plan. And Hotel Thomas Albert was the best place for us to come back and do that. But we need to show the upgrade, the upgrade of this room. Oh, we are one floor up and we have the biggest window space. I don't know how you call it, but it's, it's like so open. It's kind of like the loft. They do also have the suite above us, which is like the attic, but we have the semi loft, I'm going to call it. Um, and I tried to keep it as tidy as I possibly could, but we have our gorgeous double bed. And the thing is with their double beds is that they're more like king. Oh, it's nice. I, look, I can like run away from you. It's so cozy. Um, we have loads of seating areas. So I have my desk where I've been working. We have the seating area over there where you can sort of chill. We have the seating area where you can watch the see-through shower. Yeah, there's a see-through shower. I think that's a great invention. Molly keeps her spine on me. <laughs> and then all the windows are lovely. It's just so open and airy. And we even have a hallway. Like, look at how much space we have. There is a lot of space. And it's a perfect place to plan. We needed to plan. Yeah. Sometimes we need to just chill. There's been a lot going on um, and a lot of stuff we've had to sort out. And let me tell you, it was not easy. It wasn't. And we have McDonald's on the way. Yeah, we shouldn't have told anyone that. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much. Thank you. We are quite badly obsessed, he said they've got everything, with the McDonald's out here in Moldova. They do these things called a cheese lavash. They're like so different to any, look at this. It's, it's a, basically a cheeseburger, but a, without the bun, it's right? It's crazy, it's a cheeseburger in what would you call that? It's like a pita. In like a pita. It's a, oh, it looks it's good. actually really, really good. How many of them did we get? I think we got three. <laughs> I don't know. No, they've forgotten one. We've only got two. You absolutely have to walk after a McDonald's. I was really impressed with the lavash. It's Matt's favourite thing as well, but I'm kind of slumped right now. We still have so long until we have to get the bus um, across and night buses are always a killer. But we have postcards to send and here at the Thomas Albert Hotel, they have the cutest little postcard sender. Now I think we have to get stamps, but you can kind of pick a postcard for free and send it across in this really cool post box. I think we need stamps. How cool was that being able to send our postcards off at the hotel you literally just pop them in the post box and pay for your stamps it's amazing the reason we're sending postcards is because if you sign up to our exclusive community and um, depending on what package you get there are loads of things that you can benefit from from all sorts of travel tips to postcards to magnets um, that we got that we send to you to say thanks for joining the community and supporting us one of the packages happens to be getting a postcard every month which we think is really cool because we try and find ones that are sort of relevant to us and ones that we think that you will like so yeah we will link it in the description so that you can check it out 
and join our exclusive community. Really needed to stretch my legs. Look at that sunset. It's sort of gone now, but it's a really nice sunset. The last time we're going to see the Arc de Triomphe of Moldova. Um, I think we're going to get more food. I hate this. Don't you hate when you've got like a looming flight or something? It's late at night. Luckily, uh, Thomas Albert Hotel let us stay in our room till late. But just it's six forty at night now, and we still have like five hours until our night bus. We've actually been semi-productive today in terms of we've getting things some, done. We've, we've planned stuff out, but I'm just so anxious. I hate waiting all day for a boat, a ferry, a car, a train, a, a plane, bus. a bus. Um, so I'm going to get more food. Narok to my pear lemonade and we couldn't leave Moldova without one last bit of Moldovan traditional food so we are back in La, La Cinte. What food do you think you're going to miss most? Oh, it's too many. Thank, Thank you. you. So we have obviously our La Placinte because you can't come to La Placinte and not get a Placinte. And a salad, which is yeah. so traditional. We're so healthy. <laughs> more than, I think Placinte is what I'm going to miss most. We are back. I am quite stuffed actually. It's actually 10, 11 at night. Uh, we're almost ready to go. I tell you what, we get such bad anxiety on days like today because you are just waiting around all day. Like I've tried to be productive, been editing, um, been doing our emails, but you're in the back of your, your mind, you are just thinking about, I need to leave at this time. You're getting on the bus, you've got border checks to have to do. Um, there's just so much, and especially traveling, traveling during the pandemic makes it so much worse. Like our anxiety is through the roof, um, but we actually originally wanted to get the train from Chisinau to Kiev. Uh, it's not running, which is crazy. It doesn't seem like the trains in the countries we've been in have been running, which is quite frustrating because it means you then have to get the bus. We booked our bus tickets with Gal Trans, they actually are all over Europe, um, not just Moldova. But this is where it gets interesting. We have just maybe found out because I had to get something printed downstairs that the bus tickets. Oh. Now he's in the shower. I hadn't even mentioned Show it. It's, so, it's, <laughs> it's kind of like this is where Molly sits and watches me. <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was. Um, We've just been told that it could well be a minivan, depending on how many people book it. Now, I can't deal with sitting in a minivan from 11.30 tonight until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. It is just wild, basically. And the tickets weren't cheap. It was about £35. Though that was for two of us, right? I'm not sure. Let's just, just pray that it's a... It was more expensive than you'd pay for a minivan, so keep your fingers and toes crossed that it is a coach. Please, please, please be a bus. 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 We're at the north bus station. There is one bus. There's a minivan and a Oh my god, I think it says Kiev. It's a bus. Oh my god, thank you. I've never been so happy to see an old-fashioned bus. I don't think I could have dealt with a marshal car for 10 hours. But this is our bus. He's now checking our documents, make sure we've got our vaccine, um, make sure we've got our passports, which obviously we have, and check me out our bookings. They didn't send us confirmation, but we're on. I think we're on. Oh my god. Heaven. This is heaven. We've got USB ports, we've got nice lights, we've got comfy seats that recline. And it's not a Mahashukra. Oh. Nine hours, nine hours, we try and sleep. It. Let's get some sleep, let's get across the border. And we have made it to Ukraine on what was not the best bus journey we have ever had. Um, let me tell you, it was kind of crazy and it was probably the worst border crossing we had. For a start, as we had to leave Moldova, we entered Transnistria, we then had to leave Transnistria and then enter Ukraine. There was at least four border stops and then when we got to Ukraine, they wouldn't accept the vaccine um, piece of paper. Uh, they wanted us to download an app to say we were self-isolating. Obviously, we couldn't film anything. Um, and then when we did get through, it was kind of just like a huge sigh of relief. And now it's going off. We now have internet and we have ordered a taxi back to our hotel. I think I'm going to sleep today. I am 
I am slumped. It's only nine o'clock in the morning and I think that this is where I'm gonna stay all day. Um, yeah, what a crazy journey. The bus was actually really, really good. However, there was four checkpoints. Um, you have to get the checkpoint into Moldova, exit Moldova, checkpoint into Transnistria, exit Transnistria and then you have to enter Ukraine. They didn't understand our vaccine, the UK vaccination certificate. They didn't know that what the scientific name was for Pfizer. They didn't accept the vaccine. They thought we were having to self-isolate. They thought we needed a test. They were saying the UK is a big problem. We just didn't know. They didn't speak the best English. We don't obviously speak Ukrainian or Russian. Um, and it was crazy. Like It was a very hectic journey. As you can see, I am exhausted and um we're both just so glad to be in bed we're really excited to explore kiev though and we're super excited to show you more of where we are staying um so hopefully we can get a good night's sleep tonight or a good day's sleep and we will see you bright and early for exploring kiev in the next one